My friend is about to propose to his cheating girlfriend. Only, I know about her infidelity. So, my close buddy Aaron and his girlfriend Mary have been together for about seven years. They met in college and had a very good friendship. They are, in my opinion, incredibly codependent. Aside from one other, neither of them has many friends. She forbids him from having male pals. In fact, she forbids him from doing many things. He is not allowed to go out beyond 11 p.m. He is not permitted to drink or smoke. She must approve of all of his friends. And he is not permitted to be alone with other females. She's got him on a short leash. They're still together because Aaron is fully whipped and she can do no wrong in his eyes. He often expresses how surprised he is that she finds him beautiful. He's a nice-looking man, but she's supermodel-level good-looking. They post adorable couple photographs every day, I'm fairly sure she makes him post them, and everyone who sees them thinks they're the ideal magical fairy tale pair. Anyway, he informed my boyfriend and me a few weeks ago that he was going to propose to Mary. Of course, we congratulated him since he seemed to be overjoyed. Now, here's the problem. A few weeks ago, I went out with a friend of Mary's named Allison. Allison told me about a party they attended where Mary became inebriated and slept with her ex. They continued meeting on a regular basis after the party, and she had a with him and a friend of his. Aaron is unaware of them. I informed my boyfriend about it since he shares my relationship with both of them, and he thinks we should say something, but I'm not sure how. It will destroy him, as well as their whole connection, and maybe their friendship. However, I believe that in the long run, he will be dissatisfied with a marriage in which she is so dominating. Not even that, but if she's okay with cheating on her long-term boyfriend, she'll be fine if they're married. Is it the correct thing to tell them? Clarify, the cheating hasn't been going on for six years, as far as I know, and it happened lately. Edit 2. Some commentators are calling me a poor friend for not informing me right away. After some deliberation and reading the comments, I've chosen to inform him as soon as possible, most likely tonight if he's available to hang together. To those who feel I'm being a poor friend by waiting, please understand that this is a massive matter that will have a significant impact on Aaron's future, and I want to make sure I break the news properly. Love has rendered this guy deafeningly, deafeningly, deafeningly d. He will not be anticipating this news, and his whole life is about to alter. I'm not going to sit back and do nothing, because he deserves far more than this lady, and he needs to know the truth about what he's getting himself into if he still chooses to marry her. I'm anticipating a full-fledged storm, and I anticipate him to be wounded, furious, and in disbelief. I don't think it's improper for me to seek for some advice on how to handle this. Should I have informed him earlier? Perhaps, but what difference would a few of weeks make? For those who have inquired, I will provide an update as soon as I'm able. Edit 3. I've spoken with Aaron since I wrote this, and he'll be over tonight to talk slash hang out. My boyfriend and I are going to inform him jointly since he is also aware of the problem. Some of you have urged that I speak to Mary first to give her an opportunity to tell the truth. While it is a nice concept, I am not as close to her as I am to Aaron, and I don't think it will go down well. I'd rather inform him and leave it up to him to determine what to do next. Edit 4. Fresh information has been received from Allison, a third-party friend. She has supplied me copies of messages proving Mary's involvement with her ex. They exchange texts on a daily basis, and he has sent her nudes. Edit 5. LOL, I'll just say Aaron arrived to our home, 8.00 p.m. EST, and will post later if I can. Thank you all so much for your nice words and for assisting me in sorting out this heated mess. I've been worried about it all day, but I think I'm doing the right thing by informing him. Update. Some of the commentators provided me with really useful ideas. Some of you advised me to speak to the girlfriend first, while others advised me to wait, and yet others advised me to acquire a large amount of proof first, which I eventually obtained through Allison, the third-party acquaintance. Some of you were upset with me for not informing him sooner and accused me of being a lousy friend. Some anticipated that he wouldn't trust me, while others expected that the girlfriend would deny everything. So, you were all somewhat correct. Here's how it played out. I messaged Allison early in the day, immediately after I posted, since laying it all out brought my shame and worry about the situation to the surface. I told Allison that I needed to notify Aaron and asked if she had any evidence. This is when she provided me the text message screenshots. Aaron arrived at 8 p.m., and it was even better that Allison joined him. We all sat down and spoke for a while, and we all informed him about Mary's concerns. Allison gave him the text screenshots of Mary chatting to her ex and informed Aaron about all of her interactions. 
His response was the most startling. He handled it well. He was first quite silent and just nodded. Aaron eventually said that he had a vague hunch that something was wrong. He wasn't aware of the, but he and Mary had gotten into arguments previously over the fact that she doesn't let him be near other ladies, yet she goes out and flirts with other guys all the time. He informed us that she had been distant recently and that she would often leave without informing him where she was going. There were a few additional little details he highlighted that indicated he was dissatisfied with his relationship. He had a feeling something was awry, but he wanted to think it wasn't true. After that, we began relaxing with some drink, and things became a lot more emotional. He sobbed, saying how to me felt for not recognizing it sooner, how much he loved her and would have done everything for her. Then he became enraged, at her, and especially at the man. She was described in several unflattering and nasty words. Finally, he informed us that he's going to cut it off, at least for the time being. We told him a million times that he deserved so much more. He has no intention of marrying her. Thank you everyone for your kind thoughts and guidance. We spared a wonderful man's heart from breaking. Story 2. If he accuses you of cheating, let me draw you a picture. I've been married to my hubby for 19 years. He was my first relationship when I was 18 years old, and we both lost our virginities to each other. We were inseparable and served as an example of love and a good relationship to our friends. After years of infertility, I gave birth to our son around five years ago. It really was a miracle. This is when things started to become rough. As I started my new position as a mother, my husband became the breadwinner. I had a miscarriage when my kid was a year old. This was shortly after I had quit nursing and my hormones were in disarray and sadness was setting in. My spouse became concerned that I was drifting away from him and began investigating. He accused me of cheating on him with all of our male friends for the following three years. He then assumed I had a boyfriend. His thoughts shifted to believing I was a prostitute who entertained guys while they slept. He installed concealed cameras and recording devices around the home in order to trap me. I felt terrible for my hubby. I advised him to seek counseling since his capacity to think sensibly seemed to be impaired. We attempted couples therapy, but the allegations persisted. The emotional torture went on. Intimacy was tight since he was staring at me like he had I felt obligated to please him in order to make him feel better. Last year, I followed my instincts and did not sleep with him for nearly a month. My depression was at an all-time high, and I was about to start like Sapro. My husband went on a stroll with my closest friend, the wife of his best buddy, at a little get-together with friends. They have an open relationship, and she was overheard telling my husband that humans are not designed to be monogamous. I felt sick when I observed her stroking his knee so casually. They were going to have a game night, and my spouse was going to stay the night. I wasn't invited since the game was length and dull. I am not a moron. My spouse was overjoyed about the evening and had been looking forward to it for a long time. I told him not to sleep with her just before he left. He appeared surprised and perplexed that I would even bring up such a ridiculous topic. I told him that if I didn't say anything, I'd be sorry afterwards. Even though I was expressing concern, he still departed. He returned the following day, and after hours of uncomfortable silence, he eventually told me what had transpired. This almost 40-year-old tells me he's with her. Using such casual language when we had only ever had it with each other up to this point, I've since moved out, but he's dead set on getting me back. I'm not sure I could put up with much more of this poisonous relationship. The next chapter is really frightening. I've never dated anybody in my life, but even being alone has to be preferable to this type of emotional torture. My parents prefer that I work everything out with him. My pals are proud of me and relieved that I've finally departed. Healing may be isolating and frightening, but I'm hopeful for a brighter future for myself and my kid.